All right, team, charge! This is unbelievable. You know something? I'm gonna tell you something. This is what it's all about. We eat fishy. Look at the mouth on it. <laughs> Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you in part by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Big Snow Resort, Jiffy Ice Drills, Cold Snap Outdoors, Hard and Soft Fishing. Bart line barrels and deep freeze ice fishing. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Hey, this week on Larry Smith Outdoors, we're up fishing in North Dakota. And I'll tell you, normally by now we've got ice at home and uh, the only ice you're gonna find there might be in the, some of the bays. So we decided to make about a 650 mile trip and we came up here to fish right around the Devil's Lake area um, and we're fishing with uh, McCoy Outfitters and I'll tell you, it sure feels good to be on hard water. Badger Sportsman Magazine, the premier outdoor magazine. Published in Oshkosh and written by Wisconsin sportsmen for Wisconsin sportsmen. Get the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. And the magazine makes a great gift idea. Go to Badger Sportsman Magazine slash holiday special and save while you give this great gift. Get two years for $20 or three years for $30. Just enter promo code JOLLY15. Save on Badger Sportsman Magazine today. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. If you want a tip-up that lasts, nothing beats a beaver dam. With over 50 years of American craftsmanship in every one. From our classic tip-up to round models, to the new beaver bucket station or bracket, we're your partner on the ice that's never had a meltdown, even if your buddies do. Oh, look at that fish! Oh my gosh! Holy Take cow, Take yours, baby. baby. Look at that fish. Fish hard. I did. He's not a he's not a monster, but he's a North Dakota perch. Got him here on this silver and green cast master. Not exactly what we're looking to fill our buckets with today. It's a start. We just got out it's, here. It's a start. <laughs> we just got here, but you can see the girth on these fish. These North Dakota fish eating all these freshwater shrimp are just fat little piggies. Here we go. You know, we're out in North Dakota this week. Oh, <laughs> not too shabby. Look at how fat that looks like a Winnebago fish. You know what we had to do? We don't have any ice at home. We've been fishing on the water, open water, and fishing on soft water. So we had to drive all the way out here to North Dakota to find some ice. And there's still, believe it or not, there's only about five, five and a half, six inches of ice out here. Um, you know what, what we're doing is basically fishing some of these smaller bodies of water, the main body of uh, Devil's Lake itself, uh, a lot of it's still open. So we're kind of fishing some of the smaller lakes here. Here we go. Feels like a perch. And he's wrapped around the deucer. It's not a bad fish here. Well, here's another one of these North Dakota perch here. We're uh, moving around or drilling holes, and trying to find a good pot of fish. Uh, they seem to be a little sluggish, but we are picking up a couple. Looking to get some nicer fish here. It is early ice condition, so your fishing opportunities are limited out here right now. It's just really warm out. 
we've got you know about six maybe seven inches of ice here uh, the big main body of water on the lake still open water so we're fishing a smaller lake today hoping to get on some good fish they're here we just need to wait for that witching hour that time of the day when they decide to turn on and it should be a good bite Well, I've, I've marked four fish, caught the one. Travis has got like seven real candies. Oh, yeah. Matt, you just moved over here too. I haven't gotten any real big ones yet. Oh, oh yeah, get that one up. That, oh. I was with you last year on Winnebago when you caught that monster. There's another one Travis has got when you caught that monster walleye. Now that is absolutely, that's a dude. That's a slob that's right there. Right yeah, there. look at the size of that, that perch. Hold them up for the camera once. Look at that. That's what we drove how many miles for? 600. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know what? We finally got some ice. We got no ice at home, so we had to drive out and fish out here in North Dakota, and I'll tell you, it's definitely worth the drive. Wow, that is just, that's a pig of a fish. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Matt, you just marked one, and I think I caught your fish. Right? That's, see, he caught that big one, and right away I drilled another hole right next to him. So, I'm trying to cut him off. All right. Yeah, I want my middle head back too. All I gotta say is, I'm sure happy we're on some hard water. Oh, what? Oh, darn it. Oh, we got a triple. It's pro oh, you want see that sun came out. How big is yours, bigger than mine? Travis, all right. A triple, the sun peaked out. Come on, Dave, your turn. Here we go. All right, nice job. Thought I'd just drop a dead stick down next to my jigging pole. And it works. We've got quite a few fish here showing up on the bottom and they come up a little bit and they go back down. They're kind of hesitating to bite some of them so I figured maybe a dead stick would uh, produce a fish. I've had it down for about two minutes and here we go. There's the results. Nice, nice job. Fish. Starting to put it together now, Larry. All right, Getting let's keep her moving. Going on. We got a ways to catch up to Travis. With ice fishing just around the corner, it's time to gear up. Check out the new Pro Skimmer by Deep Freeze. Offered in 6-inch, 8-inch, and 10-inch models. The fastest ice skimmer on the market. And once you're ready for those tip-ups, don't forget about Blue Tips. The first tip-up alert system sent straight to your smartphone. Free app available on Android and iOS. Check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors Ice Fishing, a full service guiding ice fishing adventure. We supply all the equipment and provide a hot meal out on the ice. You just need to arrive with a Wisconsin fishing license and get ready to catch fish and have a great experience. We guide seven days a week, are fully insured, use the latest tested tough gear, and will work harder than anyone to put you on fish. To book a trip, please call 920-361-4996. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see you having fun out in the outdoors and all you have to do to have a chance of winning a brand new propane Pro 4 auger like this is to submit a picture of you having fun out in the outdoors. Go to badgersportsman.com.
got, Matt? Got a good one? Oh, that's another toad. That's not quite as big as that other one you got, but that's a dandy. Oh, 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 boys. Oh, 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 oh. I'm glad he went that way instead of that way because I wasn't quite fast enough. Everything's so slick on there. I did not think, you guys, that was going to be a walleye. The old tip stick, I tell you, finally. Boy, I'm struggling catching the perch today. Travis is absolutely kicking my hinder. But the walleye, boy, look at that. The old cast master with a minnow head on it. It's got the old glow on there and uh, the sun's starting to go down and that's my fish. I tell you, look at that. I'll tell you, it feels absolutely awesome to be on hard water. Oh, you got one too? All right, another walleye. Hey, the walleye bite is on. It always seems, hey, is that true, Dave? You early in the morning and then in the evenings is usually the best walleye fishing all year? Yeah, <clears throat> and what I like about the evening bite is a lot of times that evening bite is more ferocious than the morning bite. It is. Yeah, the okay. morning bite seems to be a little bit more drawn out over a stretch of time, but that yeah. evening bite is fast and furious when it happens. I'm all about fast and furious, my friend. Travis, you are putting the hurt on everybody. Holy camoly, you have got the hot hand. He's got something there. I don't know. Oh, Dave's got one now, too. One now too. Nice here. job. Feels like a decent one. Let's see what we got. A little noodle rod. It's hard to tell. Whoop, we got a walleye. There we go. Another fish on that dead stick here. I must have had about 15 fish in the last 20 minutes come through, and they just don't want to bite my chicken spoons, but. This dead stick has produced a few fish for me today and I like it and we're starting to pile some up. Turning out to be a great day. Just another great eating walleye. You know, Dave, we got to fish at least a half a day. We did get here a little bit late today because we drove uh, all night, but I'll tell you something. There's no doubt who had the hot hand today. Travis, your <laughs> pile doesn't look anything like mine. I'm going to tell you that. You definitely had the hot hand. What do you think your, the difference was with you today? Luck. Luck? Yeah. That you're going to say I'm, just I'm, luck? I'm going to go with luck. OK. There's, there's a lot of good fishermen here today. Right. So. And boy, I tell you, <laughs> what do you think about some of these fish that you caught? You remember some nice looking perch. Them are, them When's the last time perch. you caught a, a limit of perch like that? Last time I caught a limited perch was probably 10 years ago. Jeez. So for me, that's a that's a different catch. Yep. Well. Yep. There's some nice nice quality fish here, and I was watching your jig and cadence. You're doing something a little bit different than we were, and I was trying to mock you, but I couldn't get it down. But right. you you had the hot hand today, and we got some nice fish. Uh, it would have been nice to be here in the morning because sometimes the morning bite is the best out here. Right. But you guys drove all night, and you know we mustered up some fish, and it turned out to be a great day. Hey, you know what the nice part is? Tomorrow morning, we will be somewhere. We will be, that's hey, right. Yep, stay tuned, let's see what happens on day two tomorrow, and uh, hopefully uh, Travis has another hot hand, and maybe the rest of us have the hot hand too. Yeah. So, let's, But you know, that's the way fishing is. Some days you got it, some days you don't. We'll just and try today, to share the wealth. that's all I got in a couple of perks. So, <laughs> and I'm not complaining though. That's so. good, that's good. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the US of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig, or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it.
Got another one over here, Larry. Another one? Yeah. You, you got, got a good rod, going. Ben. I'm coming that way. Feels like a, oh boy, yeah. Feels like a real nice walleye. Yeah, this one's a dandy. So here we are, folks. Still morning. Sun's just come up. We're working a road bed out here. And uh, <clears throat> we're starting out real shallow. Throughout the day, we're gonna be working up and down this road. These fish will be spread out here and there and they, they key in on certain spots, but I mean, we're just gonna have a good time. We'll catch them on a variety of baits. Should be a great morning. And this is just a, a perfect example of what you get out here in Devil's Lake. This is a beautiful 18, 18 and a half inch fish. Uh, you know, we'll probably catch up quite a few that are around that 14 to 16 inch range, but we'll have several fish like this. It's just a great variety. We got some real strong year classes, you know, Glad to have Larry Smith out here fishing with McCoy Outdoors, and uh, we're looking forward to having a good, fun day. It should be a great day. Hey, Larry! Got another <laughs> one? Yeah. Dave, come on, man! I just, I just dropped it down. You know? Yeah. We just caught that nice fish here. I dropped <laughs> it down, and my, my jig wasn't even down in the cone for my Vexlar yet. And this fish was on it already. You're lucky I don't have an auger in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it must have been uh, must have been a couple of fish, two or three fish hanging out together. You know, I, I just caught that nice fish about 18 inches, 18 and a half, and uh, had to rebait my hook. I dropped it down, and this lure swings off to the side of the hole, and I didn't even mark it on my Vexar yet. And I lift up just to twitch it, and bam, this fish hit. Beautiful fish, you know, 16 inches probably. Uh, I tell you, I, I can't stress enough how good these road, kit, road beds can be out here in North Dakota. I mean, there's road beds all over the place out here. This water is going down, so some of these roads are starting to get too shallow to where they're not gonna be that great for fishing. It's just, it's just too shallow. And these ditches have been taken over by weeds, but there's still a lot of road beds out here produce nice fish. Uh, if you guys haven't been out here to Devil's Lake, you know, come check it out. You don't always have to have a guide service, but we are out here if you'd like to check us out. And uh, once again, I'm Dave Tice with McCoy Outdoors in Minnewaukan, North Dakota. Uh, we're hoping to have a great today, great day today, and uh, it's starting out to be a good one. Hey Dave, you know what, yesterday we got here a little bit late and uh, you got us out on some perch and we had absolutely a fantastic time. Today we got out right away in the morning and fished a road bed that you were fishing for some walleyes. We popped a few walleyes out and now you got, you're taking us back out and we're going to be back after perch, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're uh, going to try some perch out here. We'll be on Devil's Lake, you know, yesterday we were on a different lake, but uh, while we were fishing that road bed this morning, I, I went for a little ride on the wheeler checking ice conditions and, and I felt confident we could get out to a perch spot, so we're going to give it a shot. What's the key to, to perch fishing here? Is it kind of like at home where it's a lot of running and gunning until you finally find these fish? It, it is a lot of running and gunning. Um, you know, Devil's Lake has got flooded timber all over the lake and you get groves of trees that are underwater and some are only in 10 feet and some are, you know, 25 to 30 feet, depending okay. on which basin. Um, what you find is, is these, these fish seem to key in on certain groves and specific trees in that grove. So you really have to run and gun and punch a lot of holes, find which grove of trees they're, 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 they're working and then find that one specific tree or two trees that, that has, you know, you call it the mother tree because that's where the school seems to be hanging that day. Are these perch like most perch, except for a few of like our, our lakes down south in Madison area, they do suspend up down there, but most of these fish are all bottom oriented too, right? Yeah, most of these fish are real bottom oriented. You know, on a good day when they want to bite good, you can get them up a couple feet off the bottom, but most okay. of the time it's, you know, just puffing your jigs down in the silt or in the sand and, and try to get them up six inches or a foot maybe, but they really relate to the bottom. They're just bottom huggers and I think because you know, you, you got so many shrimp swimming around down That's there. That's what I was wondering. I didn't know because the shrimp actually are at all the different water columns, right? I mean, because a lot of times when you're out here, you're drilling a hole and them shrimp will just come pouring right out of the hole. So I didn't yep. know if them, the perch out here would be suspended, you know, or not. Nope. They not, don't have to be, huh, right? No, they, no, they don't have to be, yeah. So it's just, uh, you know, drilling holes, working hard and, and trying to get on, get on that hot pod. Once you pick up a few, 
you know, you work the area over good and usually you can find something that's going to produce, you know, a, a few numbers. And, and on a good day, when they decide to bite, you fill up the buckets. Some days you get, you know, 10 or 12. Right. You know, how big is this lake now? Any you idea know, what the total acres? I remember years ago it was like 168,000 acres, but I mean, I know it's grown considerably since then. I'm just talking about the main Devil's Lake itself. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know exactly, but I, it's got it's like 225,000 acres or maybe as big as 250,000 wow, acres. This lake is it's just really gotten big. Um, it has shrunk in size these last couple of years because the water has come down about four and a half feet. So it's lost a few acres there, but right. it, this lake is massive. Yeah, it's, this is one of my favorite places to fish. I love coming out to this part of the country. So, hey, let's see if we can uh, get on some perch out here. And then, I don't know if it's going to be possible or not, but I was thinking, you know, this afternoon, if we could maybe try for some pike again, you know, or something about, I love catching pike. I've so got, a, got, I've a, got a pike spot. Yep. Okay, that yep. sounds good. Let's go get them. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see you having fun out in the outdoors and all you have to do to have a chance of winning a brand new propane Pro 4 auger like this is to submit a picture of you having fun out in the outdoors. Go to badgersportsman.com. Okay, I got one. Here we go. Don't feel like a bad fish. Oh, there, yeah, nice. Nice, nice perch. This is my first perch of the day. Uh, not a bad one, probably about 11 inches. So let's see what we can put together this afternoon. Got one, Travis? <laughs> I was just drilling. You guys had just moved in here. Man, you got the hot hand the last couple of days. Walleye or what? I think this is a big perch. I don't know. I don't know. It could be either. It's pretty big. You were marking quite a few hot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Now that is a North Dakota perch. Holy moly. That is an absolutely giant. We'll have to measure that one to see how big it is, but that is probably one of the biggest perch that I myself have seen in a long, long time. Wow. What were you doing? Just what we've been doing all time. Just kind of pounding that bottom, doing the same thing, huh? Yep, just pounding the bottom and lifting up, and away you came. Hey, hey Eric, way to go, buddy. Woohoo! Putting things together now. Feeling good, feeling confident. You know, Eric's been marking a couple fish. I was marking some fish. Uh, I tell you what, a lot of times these fish will come in in little packs. I mean, you get them up, they work, and you get one or two on your screen. Pretty soon you got three or four or five, you get one to bite, and I tell you what, they're like little kids eating candy. You pull one up, if you still got bait under your hook, it's so crucial to get your bait back down as fast as you can, because you never know if you're gonna drop your bait back down and you're gonna catch four perch, or if you're gonna catch 20 perch. It depends on how big that pot of fish is. Uh, you know, when you get a fish, don't be standing up waving to your friends, hooting and hollering because you got a fish stick to business get back down there and get her done because time is of essence because they're just like a little kid with the sucker if you're not waving the sucker they go and find something else to do so stick to business and that's how you can get the numbers on the ice Eric did a great job he got back down we still had fish and there you go Eric spent here a few minutes and got two fish and now there's more watching his bait <laughs> I finally got one you know I've been moving around a lot and oh there we go not too bad. I mean, good little eater right there. You know, the key to this, and like Dave was saying, the key to this fishing out here is to keep moving and keep moving. And sometimes just moving 20 feet really makes a big difference. And when you do get these fish to finally trigger, you want to stay on them and get that bait back down there as fast as you can because you try to keep that school underneath you as long as you can. So that the object is, like he was saying, is to get them out of the hole, get that bait down there and fling that bait right back down there and get down there and, and keep them, keep them going, keep them active. Larry, you walk. Come on, you. I'm a guest on. You I'm know. This body of water, man. These yep. fish are. Ki oh, oh. That's a, no, that's a dandy. We, we I just both want to catch a few of them big ones <laughs> like that. You know, you were just here. We both lost confidence on that fish I was digging, and you yep. walked away, and I get them. 
I walked away because I was trying to get one. That's why. <laughs> that is absolutely a dandy purse. Boy, I tell you, you know what? I'd like to talk a lot and put this right there. All right, let's get back to business. What the deal, man? She just walked away. I was just in that hole. Well, came over, came, over by, came over by Dave here. He's on I the was hot just area. in that hole. Oh, that's another nice perch. Oh, my gosh. Lance. You know what? <laughs> what does Merton always say? The old famous saying, we say it all the time now. Some days he's the bug, some days he's the I am child. definitely the bug, man. I've been absolutely, I must have been smacked by a freight train. I'm one of them oil tankers that I seen coming across <laughs> the Dakotas here. I cannot get bit hardly. Yeah, wow, awesome that is a great here. perch. Hold that thing up when you get them unhooked. <laughs> all right, Eric. Man, oh man. Looks like another, another perch here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, look he's at Eric. quiet guy, you yeah. know? He's been over here by himself, as quiet as can be. And look at this mess of fish he's got laying here already. Boy, that's another, that's another nice perch. Good job, Eric. Thanks. Hey, hey. hey Dave. <laughs> you heard my blue tip go off. That blue tip, that's pretty cool. You want to get this one? Sure, I think sure. this will be the last fish of, of the day here. And I'll tell you, boy, it's been an absolutely fantastic yeah. day again. He's at, heading over to see Dan. Is he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's turn him and bring him back. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's see what you can end the day at with. A big pike or a small pike? Oh, God, it would be nice to have a big one. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pike. Again, we really appreciate everything you did for us. You put us on fish, you know, and we couldn't ask for anything more. We caught walleyes. We caught perch. We caught pike. What more is there to it? We got to get out ice fishing, and you know this is ice fishing has always been a very special thing for us. And uh, you know to be able to fish a body of water like this was awesome. So I yeah. appreciate it big time. Thank uh, you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you coming out. And yeah, you know ice fishing's always been my passion. And uh, hopefully the couple days you guys are out here, you know maybe you guys learned a couple tips or tricks from me. We learned a lot of stuff from it's you. It's always nice to fish with with people that are really into it and have a lot of experience because you always seem to pick up a couple of couple of things somewhere along the line. Right. You know? And I always say that, you know, you guys, one thing about fishing is you're always learning. It doesn't matter, even a guy like both of us that spend over 300 days a year on the water and been doing it forever, you're always learning. That's the great part about it. You just don't get bored with it because everything's changing all the time and yep. you can never gain enough knowledge when it comes to this sport. So, yeah, you know, if you go out and you're just always fishing memories, you're never going to exceed, you're never going to excel. You always have to be having that open mind and be willing to learn new things, you know. Just because it worked when you were a kid doesn't mean it's going to work today. Yep. And, uh, you know, fishing with a guy like Larry or fishing with a guy like me, it's been doing it my whole life and that's that's our passion and that's what we do. It certainly is. You know, be open-minded. You just might learn something. And remember, hey, for Larry Smith Outdoors, it's a great day to be alive. <laughs>